hello and welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at the Hit Vision CCTV colour view cameras. So it's a very regular question um, both on uh, YouTube comments and Instagram where people suggest oh you need to go for colour view cameras. Uh, they're brilliant, you can see colour at night and um, they, they give a really good picture. Yes, they do. However, I just want to get my point across of um, why I refuse to switch to the color view cameras from the eight megapixel dark fighters that I currently have. So that's what I want to do in this video. So I've purchased specifically for this test um, a Hick Vision four megapixel second generation color view turret camera. Um, this is a like for like swap for the eight megapixel powered by dark fighter um, that I have around the rest of the house. Um, I, I have five of them all over. So what I wanted to do with this video <clears throat> is replace the one over our rear garden, um, the eight megapixel with the color view camera. So as you can see there, we have a color image. It's pitch black outside. So if I flick the camera around, as you can see, absolutely pitch black. Now, colour view, how I understand it, and I would say this goes back to um, how uh, it, something like a DSLR camera, so a camera you take pictures with, for long exposure. And to get the colour at night, my understanding is you need ambient lighting, be it street lights, house lighting, uh, cars driving past, you know, things like that, or um, factories close by and, and all that sort of stuff. And that will help contribute to give you the color image. Now, where we live, it's pitch black. And in a minute, we'll go outside and I'll show you this. So the color view cameras, or I, know, I don't know if the first generation, but the second generation comes with a built-in light. And that is the only thing that's giving us that color image at night and what I'll do is I'll add a clip in now so since setting up the whole social media thing and getting into the sort of hick vision cameras I have always said buy the best you can afford otherwise and, and really you, you want your minimum to be a four megapixel um, because the image goes very grainy I've found uh, in my experience and I've, I've I started with three megapixel I've had fours, I've had fives, uh, I've installed six, but I've never had them myself, and then I've got eights now. And the eights are by far better than any other camera. Um, you get a smooth, crisp line for things, um, like the, for example, just uh, showing you here, like the paving slabs there, you can see um, them really crisp. And don't get me wrong, this does a very good job of that. Now, what I have always said is, if you marry up any camera with a good quality floodlight, you will get a colour image at night, no matter what. Um, and for me, that is the combination that I think is the best. And more and more people are telling me to go for colour view, uh, and I disagree, and I'm going to show you why now, and put a few clips in um, showing you the grainier, image if I can get it across on the camera and also at night because of where we live with no ambient lighting you can't see the image because the LED light is compensating for the lack of ambient lighting so you can't see the face on the image so I'll put them in now and show you what that's like. So as you can see there, with the light shining specifically in one direction, it doesn't move. Um, and it's also where the camera lens is looking. The light is on its maximum setting and compensating for no ambient lighting. And what that's having an adverse effect on seeing the detail that you need to see. So as you could see there, I was walking around, walked close to the camera and the sheer light was 
completely ruining the look on the face. Now, I do understand you can turn this light down, but the problem is the camera, to be suitable for a colour view, needs the light to assist it. Um, I also have the uh, floodlight, which I'm going to turn on now, and I'll show you what that does to the image to help support it, but also have, have me in it as well. So as you can see in this image, um, the light, the floodlight is on, supporting, giving a clear, as accurate colour as possible. Um, it does create shadows on the face, as you can see, but it does allow you to see some element of detail on the face, uh, which for me is what CCTV is all about. Now, I think I've, I've just done five minutes where I, I've come across a bit like I'm slating the colour view, and I don't want that to be the case. The colour view are a very good camera. They offer certain people an opportunity to get a colour image at night if you don't have any lights around. So in my situation, you'd be able to have that. Um, however, for me, in my situation, I would rather have the eight megapixel camera with a floodlight backing it up. The colour view, I think for most people, and the people that live on housing estates and that sort of thing, they're, they're a no-brainer. You get a really good quality image. Um, yes, it is sub-quality to the 8 megapixel, but you don't have to fit an outside light. And that, to me, is where the colour view comes in. And it's not particularly for people who live in rural areas where there's no street lights, there's no sort of housing lighting. Um, and for me, in that situation, you're better going down having a floodlight. Now, we've just moved from a housing estate and I would still pick the eight megapixels over the, the four megapixel color view, simply because I like the detail. It's the reason I've got CCTV. I, I wanna see shapes of faces. I wanna read number plates and with the four megapixel, you just don't get that. Yes, you with the color, it will assist and help and the color of clothing and all that sort of stuff will help if you ever need to use it. But for me, although the color viewer is a very good camera, I won't be changing from my eight megapixels. However, I've recently seen that uh, DVS have been testing, uh, who I've worked with previously, testing an eight megapixel color view, which look fantastic. Now, they don't do it in the turret yet, but that is something um, that I will be keen to try and share with you guys and girls um, you know, on the channel. So, yes, in conclusion, the colour view, very good camera. Daytime, very good. Um, this equivalent to the 8 megapixel. Yes, it is less quality than the 8 megapixel, but it will be negligible notice at night. Yes, as you can see, it doesn't matter the situation. You get a colour image at light at night, but it does have its downsides with reflections and that sort of stuff. So I still think uh, a floodlight supporting a colour view would be beneficial. Um, for me, 8 megapixel powered by Dark Fighter is still my go-to choice of cameras. So I hope this video has helped. Um, I don't want to come across as though I've uh, I've selected the colour view because they're very good. Uh, but for me, um, I'll be sticking as I am. So thank you for watching. Please do give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more Hit Vision CCTV and other CCTV videos coming in the future. And please do check out the underscore DIY underscore journey for more day to day real time updates of us renovating our house and uh, testing products like the Hit Vision colour view cameras. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.